It's continued inundation of migrants from the southern border here to the city has made the city uh, try and come up with a way to humanely take care of these families who really have nowhere else to go. But now after plans to put them in the Bronx for the time being, the mayor has decided that is not the best spot and has decided this would be temporarily a better solution to this overwhelming crisis. Overnight, continued flooding concerns suddenly scrapped plans for the first ever migrant intake center in Orchard Beach. How dare they put immigrants in a flood zone during winter? We're in the middle of October and it's cold already. But after weeks of community complaints, they crossed the border illegally and they need to go back. Even protests yesterday and frenzied preparation by city agencies, Mayor Eric Adams announced it will ultimately be relocated to Randall's Island. We're going to make sure people are safe. We're going to make sure we provide the services, and if need be, we'll pivot and shift as needed. Despite brushing off questions about inundation in the Bronx parking lots as late as yesterday afternoon, the mayor ultimately cited flooding fears as his reasoning for the migrant center's move last night. My responsibility is to make sure that the communities where we have any shelter, uh, migrants or not, that is safe. And we're going to continue to do that. The Humanitarian Emergency Response and Relief Center was likely set to open in days with six massive tents, generators, trailers and bathroom facilities. All of that costly work will be undone for a safer and more accessible location, according to City Hall. After 16,000 asylum seekers have arrived in New York, the tent city will house 500 migrants at a time for several days until they're acclimated to the area after a harrowing journey here. I don't have anything, this Venezuelan father says, but I have a lot of strength and desire to move ahead.